Chapter 10 I am disgusted with my life. Let me complain freely. I will speak in the bitterness of my soul. I will say to God, Don't simply condemn me. Tell me the charge you are bringing against me. What do you gain by oppressing me? Why do you reject me, the work of your own hands, while sending joy and prosperity to the wicked? Are your eyes only those of a human? Do you see things as people see them? Is your lifetime merely human? Is your life so short that you are in a hurry to probe for my guilt, to search for my sin? Although you know I am not guilty, no one can rescue me from your power. You formed me with your hands, you made me, and yet you completely destroy me. Remember that I am made of dust. Will you turn me back to dust so soon? You guided my conception and formed me in the womb. You clothed me with skin and flesh, and you knit my bones and sinews together. You gave me life and showed me your unfailing love. My life was preserved by your care. Yet your real motive, I know this was your intent, was to watch me. And if I sinned, you would not forgive my iniquity. If I am guilty, too bad for me. And even if I am innocent, I am filled with shame and misery so that I can't hold my head high. And if I hold my head high, you hunt me like a lion and display your awesome power against me. Again and again you witness against me. You pour out an ever-increasing volume of anger upon me and bring fresh armies against me. Why then did you bring me out of my mother's womb? Why didn't you let me die at birth? Then I would have been spared this miserable existence. I would have gone directly from the womb to the grave. I have only a little time left, so leave me alone, that I may have a little moment of comfort before I leave for the land of darkness and utter gloom, never to return. It is a land as dark as midnight, a land of utter gloom where confusion reigns, and the light is as dark as midnight.'